the new movie, Proof of Life, takes audiences inside the kidnap and ransom industry with a story that's all too realistic. The plot hinges on the fate of Peter Bowman, an engineer in Latin America who drives into a trap set by revolutionary guerrillas. The film was inspired by the actual experience of Thomas Hargrove, an agricultural journalist kidnapped in Colombia in 1994. As in Hargrove's case, Bowman is on his way to work one morning when masked gunmen stop him at a roadblock and take him high into the Andes Mountains. From that time on, I never saw a road or a window with glass or a fork or a wheel. I never saw a wheel for a year. In his boots and his money belt, Hargrove kept a secret diary written on checkbooks and stolen paper, which he would later publish as a 300-page book, Long March to Freedom. I still find myself thinking, this can't be happening. I didn't do anything. These bastards can't take and lock me up, hold me prison. They can't. It must end someday in freedom or death. If the former, I just hope I keep my mind together. While his captors took Hargrove from one lonely mountain camp to another, his wife Susan and his two sons, Miles and Getty, began the negotiating process, which often sent them racing around Collie to retrieve a drop map or proof of life. In the movie, Alice Bowman discovers that her husband's company is bankrupt and cannot pay the ransom or hire a kidnap and ransom consultant. That's when hostage negotiator Terry Thorne comes to the rescue. Who is this? What is KNR? Kidnap and ransom. In real life, Tom Hargrove's company refused to negotiate with the kidnappers, so his family had to hire their own kidnap and ransom consultants, whose identities must remain secret. When the Hargroves could no longer afford to pay, K&R executive Dick McCormick directed his operatives in Colombia to assist them free of charge. We gave them the help without any consideration that we would be paid for it. We were there anyway, and we were very, very happy to do it. At first, the guerrillas wanted $6 million, far more than the Hargroves had. But over nine months, the figure dropped to a fraction of the original demand, and the family scraped together the cash. That was it. That's what it was all about, was getting this pile of money up into the mountains somehow, and in return, we were going to get my father back. But three full weeks passed with no word from the kidnappers. Finally, Getty and Miles went on television to beg for their father's release. Two days later, a package arrived with a second ransom demand. We pay too fast, pay too much. Instead of getting Peter back, what we'll get is a new message thanking us for the down payment and asking for more. We call this a second bite. In Tom's case, this happened. A payment was made, uh, and the kidnappers didn't release him. After two more months of negotiations, the family again managed to pay, and again it looked like they had been conned. Day three went into day four, which went into day five, which went into day six, and it was like, my God, we're going through this again. It dawned on us that maybe we, we'd failed. Mr. Hargrove is here! Then, after two days of walking through the mountains, Tom Hargrove walked back into the home he'd left nearly a year before. I heard this door open, and I heard my dad's voice. I turned around, and it was him. And I screamed. I couldn't believe it was really him. He looked like he came off of a movie set or something. I mean, it was so bizarre. Tom Hargrove's hair had turned orange from malnutrition, and he'd lost over 50 pounds. But he was otherwise quite healthy, and now, at last, he was free. Today, Tom lives in Galveston, Texas. Along the 50-mile stretch between here and Houston, he knows four other people who were kidnapped by Colombian guerrillas. Most kidnap victims are bound by secrecy agreements with their insurance companies, but Tom Hargrove's ordeal, so well detailed in his diaries, and now the inspiration for a major motion picture, stands as a rare cautionary tale for our dangerous world. Stay tuned later for expert advice on what to do if you're ever kidnapped. Now, back to New Detectives on Kidnapped.